here we done with simulation of fuzzy logic controller with DC to DC boost converter using MATLAB simulating. In my group there are three members, myself, Vaishnavi Gadekar, Dipali Brahmane and Prajapta Dhaton. So firstly we need to know that what is fuzzy logic control and DC to DC converter. First, fuzzy logic is an approach to computing based on degrees of truth rather than we usual true or false that is 1 or 0 boolean logic on which is the modern computer is based second is the boost converter output voltage always higher than the input voltage so let's start our simulation so here we are in matlab now let's search the components which we want during this simulation firstly we will be requiring a power wave block we will be then we will be requiring a voltage measurement block as well so power wave block is basically used as a compiler it helps the circuit to run during the compilation process so once it is done we will be requiring a dc voltage source so search for dc voltage source and add it so after that we will be requiring a series rlc branch so series for rlc branch so once it is done we will be requiring a dc voltage source so search for dc voltage source and add it so after that we will be requiring a series rlc branch so search for series rlc branch and add that block apart from that we will be requiring a mosfet mosfet is a switching device so once it is done we will be requiring a diode so search for diode and add that block after that we will be requiring a scope in order to see nature of output waveform so search for scope and add that block as well apart from apart from that we will be requiring a constant block this is a this is with respect to feedback path that is uh, for establishing a closed loop system also we will be requiring a subtract block here so once it is done we will be requiring a fuzzy logic block search for fuzzy fuzzy logic and add it Apart from that, we will be requiring a memory block, so add this block as well. Also, we ha we are having a multiplexer, so search here mux and add it. Apart from that, we will be requiring a relational block and also we are requiring a repeating sequence block. Once all of these are done, we will be placing these components in respective position. Now diode is to be connected over here and supply in this particular position and a voltage at this point. So with respect to circuit, we will be requiring an inductor. The value of uh, inductor is 50. So I will be connected a inductor in this particular fashion. Apart from that, rotate the MOSFET, double click on it and uh, disable the measurements port. So we are not uh, requiring a measurement port. In case you want, you can definitely use that double use that double click on this as well and disable the measurement port over here so once this is done i will be connecting it between these two points and i will be requiring a capacitive load filter so copy paste and this and rotate this load uh, and select capacitor the value of capacitor is chosen to be equal to 220 microfarad again we will requiring a resistor load so i will be using a 20 ohm resistor and i will be connecting it between these two points a voltage source is connected between these two points in order to measure output voltage and i will be giving it to the scope so open loop simulation of this uh, is complete so only thing is i have to enter the supply voltage that is basically 24 volt fashion and let us have the some subtract block over here rotate it as well and let us give it to this point and let us give it over here now once that is done i will be requiring another subtract block so Control C and Control V. I will be placing it over here, and I will be requiring a memory element as well. So whatever value is obtained, so this is the error, isn't it? So error will be given to this particular block, and over here, what I will be doing is the memory element is used to hold the previous value. So the error and change in error, both of them are given as input. So the fuzzy logic controller. So rotate this so we have two inputs how we do give it to one input terminal of fuzzy logic controller that is not for straightforward isn't it so we will be using a multiplexer and it will be giving the one of the error 
input at this point the change in error input at this point and i will be giving it to the input terminal of the fuzzy logic controller so fuzzy logic controller will basically have two inputs that is the error and change in error that is already defined in the fuzzy logic rule and we are exactly getting the same er same error over here so once this is done double click on this over here you have to be very careful whatever file name was given there so same file name should be entered over here so i had given mppt as a file name so click here in this project we successfully designed a fuzzy logic controller on a control boost dc to dc converter using matlab when it compared to the open loop circuit which has 80% overshoot the closed loop circuit performs better with a 20 volt input on the output voltage and 0% overshoot the open loop circuit output current would not experience this situation so this is all about our project thank you